welcome back. Today I'm going to do another look for you using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. This palette I have been enjoying quite a bit. I really like it. It has fast become one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Last night I was responding to comments though and I read a comment that there is a freaking dragonfly in my bedroom. A baby. Not in my bedroom. This is a spare room. Sorry. I just noticed that he is attached to the string hanging off the blinds. Hopefully he doesn't decide to buzz me. Alright, anyway, so I was reading in comments last night that uh, because there was a change in ingredients here, a lot of people are having issues with this because they're allergic. So I'm kind of hoping that Huda recognizes that and maybe, you know, in the future doesn't add those ingredients so that people, so that everybody can use this palette without issue. I do know that there are some people that are just very um, sensitive to certain ingredients in eyeshadow, especially when it comes to red. So maybe that has something to do with it, that there's, maybe she put something in the sort of reddish orange shades, I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully they get that situated so everybody can enjoy this palette. All right, I'm going to start with putting my hair back because it's already annoying me. I tried to wear it down today for a little bit, but I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. And I brought this little clip in here which may not hold my hair. We shall see. All right, so far so good. As you can tell, I'm using a different angle today. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it. I'm not quite 100% sure. I just wanted to sort of try something different, but it, it feels really weird looking up instead of straight ahead. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna start with a little bit of a base, and I'm just going to use Utterly Becoming from MAC. This is actually an old uh, pigment from a holiday collection that came out I don't even know when, four years ago, three years ago, something like that. And I'm just lightly putting that all over my lid, as well as along the lower lash line. If you don't have this, you can use painterly soft ochre, uh, laying low. And then to set that, I'm going to use Desert Sand, which is this color here. All right, the next color I'm going to use is this one here. It is called Eden, and that is going right into my crease. Next shade is going to be this one here, it's called Amber. Same brush, I'm using a MAC 221. And this is going to go right into the crease as well. Into the crease and up onto the brow bone. All right, the next shade I'm going to use is this one here, it is called Amethyst. Amethyst is a bit of a pinky purple shade. So that's going to go all over my eyelid. And I'm just going through my crease with that 221 brush. Just making sure that everything is blended nicely. I'm actually dipping my brush back into a little bit of amber, which is this color here. And going right into the crease. It is so bright in here that it's almost making it hard for me to even see how these colors are looking together. Hopefully this works out. I have one of these old color tattoos. The color of this is called Seashore Frost. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that and plop it right in the center of my eyelid. This part is obviously optional. You don't have to do this. I just put a little bit of argan oil in here because this guy is just about on his deathbed. And a real techniques brush here and I'm just going to sort of mix that around a little bit. It's alive! It's alive! We have some revival here. Very nice. Now as you can see this looks a little bit sort of blue, but I thought it would look nice as a base for what I'm about to plop on the center of my lid here. All right, and then over the top of that, I'm going to use this color here. It is called Twilight, and I'm just going to use my finger, and I'm gonna plop that right over the center. Ooh. That's pretty. This look is definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, um, because First of all, I hardly ever wear purples anymore. I used to wear purple all the time. 
um, and especially pinky purples. And so this is definitely something that I'm not used to wearing, but it's good to sort of step out of your comfort zone every once in a while, isn't it? Obviously, if you want to try to recreate this look, you don't need this exact same color tattoo. You could use like a chrome white and that would be totally fine. I had to go get a makeup wipe because holy cow, did that center color come down quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this embryo leaves all over my face. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of color correcting under my eye, oops, under my eyes here, just in the corner. And I used the Hard Candy Peach Corrector, which is this one here, if you haven't ever seen it. And then I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape underneath. And I'm just gonna press that in with my finger at first, and then I'll go over it with my sponge. Such a difference, look at that. All right, I'll come back and set that in just a second. For my foundation, I'm going to use the uh, Ordinary brand. This is the Coverage Foundation, and this is a full coverage. And I just put some on here and dot it around my face. This really is a very nice foundation. If you haven't tried it yet, I encourage you to do so. It's very inexpensive, and in my opinion, good quality. Alrighty, four little dots of that around the face and I'm done. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye area and I'm just going to use some of this whew, Bye Bye It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore. I almost gave this to Sarah because I just want my NARS so bad. <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to use it up. All right, and then to powder my face, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna use that Beauty Blender, or not Beauty Blender, this is a cheapo TJ Maxx blender, which I have to say works better than a Beauty Blender. Tragic story though, the blender that Beth sent me for my birthday, my husband thought that it was an egg. I had sitting in a glass soaking in some Dawn dishwashing liquid because the stains just wouldn't come out. And I left it there. Well, he came in to do dishes and for some reason he thought it was an egg, dumped it down the garbage disposal and turned it on and destroyed my sponge. <laughs> True story. Alrighty, face is nicely powdered. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the eyebrows in because getting tired of looking at them like that. Alrighty, now I'm going to, what am I gonna do now? Oh, I already powdered, eyebrows are done. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of, uh, actually I think we're gonna do a little bit of glam today. I don't normally contour. I think I'm just gonna do something light. But I'm going to use the uh, Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder and put a little bit of that right here. I'm not, not going under the bone, I'm going right on it, but I'm going a little bit lower. See there? And I'm not going very far because right here, the way my bone structure is, it's straight and then it dips in. So if I go too far, I get this weird sort of curve. So we're going to just keep it back here. And then I'm going to pull it up. And that's that. That's as far as I'm taking that. And then I'm, I'm going to use, look at that, the Tanya Burr, what is this? This is the Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. And I'm going to use Beach Bronze. Now the one thing about this is it's, it's, it's kind of like a pinky, did you guys even see that? <laughs> I'm going to use this bronze here, but I feel like this is more of like a pinky bronze. This isn't like a true bronze, so it kind of looks nice just all over the cheek like this. Can you see that? It seems more like a, a pinky brown. Is it supposed to be like that? Someone tell me. And for this, I'm going onto my actual cheekbone here. I should actually go get an actual 
bronzer. All right, so I just went and got my Laguna. And I'm going to plop some of this up here. And then I'm gonna go right along my jaw here. For highlight, I'm going to use good old Soft and Gentle from MAC. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm gonna start with some Eden, which was that original crease color on that same Little 221 brush. And this is going to go along the lower lash line. And you'll see I'm taking this down quite far. I'm not going to use any liner today. This is gonna be more of kind of like a very diffuse look. Okay, next color I'm using is Amber and I'm going to use this little pencil brush from Japanesque. And this is going to go even closer to the lash line. Okay, and then into Amethyst. Same brush. All right, now I have the purple on. I'm just going to use that same 221 brush. I didn't wipe it off. I'm just going right in to blend all of the colors together on the bottom. All right, so what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of mascara on in tight line, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, mascara is on. I've tight lined, done the bottom lashes, the whole nine yards. Now I was trying to figure out what kind of lip to go with this. I'm still sort of on the fence about what I have chosen for my lip, so hopefully it works out. So I'm going to use D is for Danger. This is a MAC lipstick. That is what it looks like. Get my big head out of there. And then I'm going to use Beat Lip Liner to go with it. Hopefully it looks okay. If not, we'll be switching this up. I'm going to take this lip off because I look scary. All right, so I think I'm just going to go with a liner and a gloss. Um, I have Ample Pink, which is a plush glass from MAC. As far as I know, they still sell this. This is like one of my all-time favorite glosses. I probably sold Ample Pink more than any other lip gloss the whole time that I was working for MAC. And then Dervish Lip Liner. Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot? I forgot a highlight for my eyeballs. What the heck am I doing? And I don't even know what to put in there for highlight. I have this Tanya Burr palette in front of me. Let's see what her uh, highlight looks like on the inner corner here. I'm probably gonna screw this all up, but that actually worked out quite nice. All right, so that is it for today's look. I hope that you guys like what I came up with. This, like I said earlier, is very different for me. I stepped out of my comfort zone using these sort of pinky purples. I think it's really pretty. Probably not something that I would wear all the time, but once in a while it's nice to uh, do something different, right? But anyway, that is it. I wanted to say thank you to my new friends that have decided to stick around. I really appreciate you being here. If you guys have any requests or anything like that, please leave those down below. So that's it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Have a great day, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.